Hello everyone, and welcome to Forest Ranger Services, the pilot, called the pilot. So, I'm guessing this is either a demo or that there's going to be more episodes. I think, I think it's a finished game. I think there's just going to be more episodes. The Forest Ranger Services series are based on a real life events and personal accounts of hikers. You are a wannabe aspiring reporter looking into missing hiker cases. Well, this is going fast. It was time to get your serious about the... You applied for a job as a forest ranger to get the first hand account of the disappearances. Okay. I wish I could have skipped those on my own time. Don't know everything the first paragraph said because I was slow at reading. But that's okay. That's my fault. I'm a little dyslexic little illiterate but that's okay we're in the game now and we're gonna see what all this hitchhiking business is about i guess i'm a hitchhiker right am i a hitchhiker am i a hitchhiker right now or am i a you know forest ranger service dude looking for a hitchhiker there's a lot of creepy ass noises for us to just be starting this fucking game. Can I run? I'm a run. I do not like that noise. What is that sound even? A bear? A fucking goblin? Hey there, buddy. Static. Oh, I can drive. I can really drive the car. Ooh, I'm gonna drive into the woods. Okay, that didn't. That didn't work so well. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. I love when games actually let you fucking drive. Every year. Death Valley, Yellowstone, Cascade, uh, all kinds of reports of missing. My grandparents with the Yellowstone. The numbers are massive. Okay, I've got a few examples here. One hiker found after days in the woods. Couldn't recall basic details about their hike or how they got lost. Now, folks, these aren't isolated incidents. Another displayed signs of uh, acute paranoia. Am I supposed to pull in here? Am I supposed to be here? Okay. I didn't know if I was supposed to keep going and that was just decoration or... I guess I'm getting gas. Yo, the graphics are awesome. Love modern indie game graphics. Very different from, you know, the pixelated shit that I grew up on. Ah, oh, yes. Look at that. Look at them textures. The model could use a bit of work, but look at them textures. <laughs> it looks kind of, his face looks kind of, you know, whatever. <laughs> what can I get you? Why do you sound like that? Just grabbing some supplies. I'm the new ranger in the area. You guys are a dime a dozen. What's that supposed to mean? There's a new guy here just about every other month. But there's a lot of us. Some people just don't last out in the woods. It can get a bit creepy, you know. Uh, you're saying we're replaceable and we get replaced often? Because that makes me feel a little uneasy, but, you know, it's whatever. You know, you're out in national parks. You know, no, but be, be serious. It says it's based on, like, real statistics and shit. So it's like, that many people are getting lost in the woods every year? It makes me not want to go into the woods. <laughs> What's happening to people? Like, like honestly, let's talk about this for a second. What is happening to people? People are going missing. Okay, that's a big fucking deal. They're not just dying in the woods. Because we would find their body. If it was like a bear, natural elements, getting lost. You know, we would find the body eventually. We would find bones out in the woods at some point. But people are just going missing? That's the creepy part. Like, what's happening? It's got to be like a Jeffrey Dahmer situation, right? Could be aliens abducting them. 
Oh, you never know. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Did I pay for my gas? Can I go? I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I don't remember talking about paying for my gas or anything, so... It's a little confusing. He said I was... Oh, I came in saying I was getting supplies. That's why I was confused. I came in saying I was getting supplies, and then I didn't grab a single thing. <laughs> but whatever. On the road we go. Just went in to talk to some creepy guy real quick. That's a fucking big statistic, to be honest. Did I just drive in a fucking circle, bro? Now that's a staggering figure, and it's got us wondering what exactly is happening out there in the wilderness. What if I told you there's a secret experiment? A secret experiment. Am I supposed to pull in here again? Okay, yeah, it's different. Oh, fuck, you scared the shit out of me. How long were you sitting there? I'm gonna talk to you this time. Looks like something you're looking for is missing. Okay. New ranger, huh? They come and go like the wind. Whispering pines play tricks. You'll find. I think I'm lost. Can you help me out with some directions? A hiker recently. Vanished in the woods, swallowed whole. Happens more than you'd ever be told. Been here a while, seen the faces change. Rangers like you, their stories rearrange. Something in these woods, something strange. I think I've already went missing. <laughs> the forests amaze. It knows who stays and who decays. I think I've already went missing. <laughs> I think I've gone missing already and I'm I'm done for alright I guess I inspect this shit a suitcase with documents about missing people not weird at all a thing to be just sitting out in this store that I keep coming to for some reason because I I'm pretty sure this road is just a big circle Well, let's find out. Are we gonna ha are we gonna keep turning and end up in the same place again? Motherfucker, that fucking scared me. Oh, that actually like made my heart skip a beat. The holy shit, that was. I guess I was just not expecting it. I mean, duh, Tyler. That's what a fucking jump scare is. <laughs> Ew. Wow. This sucker. He hit his own finger. This must have been out of his mind. Bro, it doesn't feel like I'm going in a circle. Can I just fuck this place and keep going? There's a Motorex billboard. I wonder if that's some foreshadowing. I can't tell if this is going in a... No, this is not going in a circle. I mean, it's not a straight road, but it's not going around like I thought it was. Yo, did I beat the game? I didn't stop at the gas station this time, and it feels like... Nope, there it is again. Fuck. <laughs> like maybe I escaped the loop by not stopping at the gas station but nope I'm right back here what up y'all yo is the place closed this time can't see inside it 
Is that a graphic glitch? Oh. Bro was expecting me. <laughs> hey, buddy. Are you going to take me now? In shadows deep. Which In a non-sexual way. A mystery unfolds. A tale malign. All right, you are yapping too much, my guy. Get to the fucking point. I do not have time for your fucking poems. Are you gonna pick it up? I. I guess I don't. Is this? Oh, there it is. Right, that makes sense. Hello. Oh, I was dreaming. Of course. Wow, this is very fucking pretty. I was dreaming. That makes sense. It was all just a wonky, wacky dream. Yo, this is cool as fuck, though. This is reminding me of Firewatch. You guys know that game. I should play that game for you guys, because that game is fucking good. I want you guys to experience it. Had a nightmare. I had a dream about a true story she told me. I was walking my dog, Buddy, in the forest one evening and I decided to explore a path. Buddy likes to run around on his own. I lost track of him. He usually comes back in about a half hour or so. Suddenly, I had this urge to look at something on the ground. As I crouched down to look at the ground, just out of the corner of my eye, I saw a man in a red sweater standing in front of me. When I looked up at his face to say hello or something like that, he disappeared. I freaked out a little bit and quickly start making my way back home on the same path I got there. I stop and look around for Buddy as I turned back to continue home. Right in front of me, there was a severed deer leg neatly placed on the forest path. I have not been down that path since. It was neatly placed there? Yeah, that's a little... Fucking. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's it, bro. I was getting. Oh, fuck, I dropped my phone. I was getting excited when we woke up. At first, I was like, okay, this is just, you know, one of those. One of those horror games. But then we woke up, and there was. We were in the firehouse and everything, and like. I was curious to see where that was going. Well, this is a beta build of the pilot. Hopefully the developer comes out with more like chapters or whatever because I'll definitely play them because that ending was cool. Being in the firehouse and the, the, the art style of like the trees and stuff and that lady had a nice voice. There's a lot of games like this where you're like a forest ranger but it's honestly just such a good setting being in the middle of the woods. As like a job and creepy shit happens anyway i'm rambling but I, I i really like that game even though it was short thank you everybody for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and subscribe that helps me out a ton uh and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye